Simon, I would find it hard that even you can defend Barcelona at this stage in the proceedings. I know <laughs> you've been and uh, you've been standing firm whenever we've thrown um, accusations uh, of sensationalised of... hyperbole. Sensationalised hyperbole, but surely now, surely now, Barcelona themselves have got to take seriously some of the uh, allegations that are, are being made against them. Um, they are now likely to face a bribery charge <gasps> with the case heading to the Spanish courts in front of a jury <gasps> over what has become an immense refereeing scandal. The case centres on payments made by the club to companies owned by this man, Jose Maria Enriquez Negrera, who was a former top of official who headed up Spain's referees committee. So between 2001 and 2018, prosecutors suspect Barcelona paid millions of euros to Negrera's company to, quotes, secure favourable refereeing decisions from corrupt officials. The payments lasted 18, 18 years. years. And they grew steadily from an initial payment of 70,000 euros a year to 700,000 euros a year. And when did they stop? When Negrera left his position in 2018. Barcelona deny all the allegations. Simon, looks like they are in serious trouble. They're in meltdown. Let's look at the chronological order of events. They're in meltdown a year ago. They spent £158 million on players, win the league. Right? That was the meltdown that Barcelona experienced last year. They're facing charges, like Man City are facing 115 charges for their own behaviour. Don't see Man City in crisis. If these charges are proven, mm -hmm. then we can talk about Barcelona being in crisis. And having been through the Spanish legal system and know how haphazard it can be and how random it can be and how unprofessional it can be, I would think there's a long, 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 long way from them being able to suggest that they've got a case to answer to that case being answered with an affirmative. We will see. Is it a good look? No, it's a terrible look. Is it is it is it being driven by people's agendas? Is there substance behind it? Is it a very strange set of behaviours? Is it explainable? Because they explained it, and I've not heard anyone contradict that or suggest that it's not something that they do, that lots of football clubs do this. It's about data, it's about information, it's about providing uh, uh, an information curve from this individual. They're going to have to work very, very hard to find Barcelona guilty. They're going to have to prove the fact that the payments that were made to this guy were then distributed down to referees. Yeah. So there's going to be a very interesting dynamic. But do I think they're in crisis? No, I don't. I think it's an unfortunate set of circumstances, and I'm pretty damn sure that it'll take an enormous amount of legal will and significant proof to move beyond the charging stage into the conviction stage. But you're, you're talking about corruption here. This is this is not like Manchester City's 115 alleged charges. This is now move to. Barcelona attempting to secure favourable well, refereeing decisions there an from an corrupt, corrupt, corrupt officials. There isn't an element of corruption if you are obligating the rules of the game. That is a form of corruption. And if Manchester City are found guilty of those things, they'll have consequences. This is a different one, granted. But notwithstanding that, at this moment in time, it is charges. Yeah. As we have seen in of other course. very, very serious matters, very serious matters with high-profile footballers that were accused of heinous crimes like Benjamin Mendy, that were then charged and then then acquitted. Different set of circumstances, so it's a very different stage from being charged to moving into being convicted. I mean, the police have raided the refereeing premises. The police raided the police raided West Ham's training ground and Palace's training ground when the HMRC were after them. So we've seen this before. This is what happens it's sometimes. It's commonplace. No, it's not commonplace. It's far from ideal. But the bottom line is they've got an allegation. They've got an allegation to, um, to, 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 to answer to. But it'll boil down to one big bribery charge, won't it? It'll boil down to being able to prove it. How do they prove it, yeah? Well, this is the question. Favourable So you're going to have to, find, you're gonna have to be able to track that? the money. You're going to have to be able to track where, that's money, where that money went, who it went to, was it distributed to referees, were results directly relatable to referees receiving payments. They'll, listen, I'm not suggesting it's beyond the wit of man. I'm suggesting that at this moment in time, it was a long way from... You know, we talked about this a year, 18 months ago, which is where you've got this situation so out saying that I, I pushed back against Barcelona. We sat in the studio and everybody said Barcelona are in meltdown. They're in meltdown. I said, no, they're not. They've got to refinance themselves. Off they went, spent £158 million on players and won the league. That particular crisis averted. This particular crisis has a sting in its tail because it is, is a very different dynamic through the legal system. When they get convicted, mm. we can then turn around and say... What do they do? What's the ramifications of it? Well, what they deny all there? charges if they get convicted. But, I mean, you would, you would agree it's not a good look for this iconic brand that is Barcelona. Well, a sad set of affairs, isn't it, for a once great club?
Yeah, if it's uh, proved, if, this, if I mean, these charges are proved, it's, it's, it's not great. It's, it's up there with Rangers and IBTs and, and finding their way around taxation EBTs. loopholes. EBTs, yeah. 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 So EBTs and finding their way around that. That was a form of, of abuse of system, abuse of process, and corruption. And they were punished. And they were punished. And, and dropped he, down leagues. And here they are, back amongst the, the elites and having won the league two or three years ago. So I'm, I'm not So, like Rangers. Could Barcelona ever envisage ending up in administration and then liquidation? I doubt it, because this is this is a club in Spain that props up the ecosystem. Now, now you could say that Rangers propped up the ecosystem in Scotland, but the people in in Scotland were too bleed and obtuse to realise that, and they voted for Rangers to get precisely everything they wanted to get. They wanted to serve them up, and what did that do for Scottish football? Nothing. What you get now is even less than you got before Rangers were in their pomp. I'm not suggesting people shouldn't be consequenced. We will see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. And yeah. if they are guilty, then they need to be they they need to be properly properly dealt with. And Javier Tebes and all his pon, you know pompous pious pontificating. He can sit on top of a league that's got corruption because he's always telling us about our league, and he he's Absolutely. always telling us about what Man City are up Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.